Earlier today, someone in the WP Crafter Facebook group wanted to use Elementor Forms to send an email attachment to someone that fills out the form. And it's actually a very common thing that you'd want to do. A lot of times you might be asking for someone's email address in exchange for some kind of a PDF resource or something like that. But when you add the Elementor Form module to your page, this is what it looks like. Nowhere do I see where I can basically just add an attachment. So sadly, someone that was trying to help this guy out said, oh, use this add-on package, but who wants to add another add-on package to their website anyway? This is very simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, what we're going to have to do is add some HTML. Now, don't get afraid. This is the WordPress channel for non-techies. So I'm going to walk you through it. It's going to be very easy to do. We're just going to add a little bit of HTML and you can easily add any kind of download or multiple downloads in an email if that's what you want to accomplish. So I have open right now a notepad and this is the email that I pretty much want to send right here. It's going to say here is your free download and then there'll be a link to the download. Although I don't know yet how to make this a link but we're going to do that in this video and then we're going to say this and I have this here to show you. You could actually take fields from what the person fills out and you can relay those inside of an email. So I'm going to show you how to say hello and then show their name. It's pretty simple to do. So what we need to do is learn a tiny bit of HTML. So I'm no HTML master. So what I do is what everyone does. I go to Google and this is what I would search right here, HTML link. And let's see what the Google gods show us. Okay, so here's a page. There's lots of pages here that are going to walk us through this. So let's just go on this one. I like going to W3 schools. So let's go there and let's scroll down. And well, well, there it is. It's right here. So this is the exact information I need to add to this email to make it a hyperlink. So right here, what it's saying is where it says URL, I need this to, I need to replace this with the download link to the file. So let me show you how to add that in a moment to WordPress. And then right here is the text that someone would click. So let's just go ahead and highlight this and copy it into our clipboard. And here I am back to my email. So let me just put a space and there it is. So what I want is I want the word download to be here instead of link text. So I'll just paste that there and then let me get rid of where it says download. So now what I need to do is get the URL to the file that I want to download. Here I am on that same WordPress website. I'm going to go to media. I'm going to click on add new and then right here I'm going to drag and drop that file that I want to have included as the download or what I want downloaded when someone clicks on that link. I just did a drag and drop and then here is that download. It's a PDF so I'll click on it and right here is the direct link to this file. So I just essentially want to highlight it all and then copy it into my clipboard. Okay, now that I have the link in my clipboard, I could just paste it right there. And you can see this is the URL to the website. And then here is the location inside of WordPress that the file will be saved. And so now I have a properly formatted download link. Now there's one more step that we need to do since we are putting some HTML inside of this email. It's not going to realize something called line breaks. So right here is the first line. Here's the second line and here's the third line. It's not going to recognize that. So it's just going to be one big clump of text, which you don't want. So here's a little handy tip of HTML that I actually don't need to go to Google for. And that is this. It's bracket BR and then bracket. There's actually three different variations of this. This one works perfectly fine. I use it all the time. And what this is, is HTML for hitting the enter key or a line break. So you want one of these for every line break. So I'm going to want one here and I'm going, let me copy this into my clipboard. And then I want one there. And then here I want one there. And then I want one there. 
and then I want one there, and then I want one there, and then I'm set. So this is gonna be this sentence here, and then it's gonna go down two lines, my download link, down two lines, the last little bit, down two lines, and my signature. And here's that handy little tip. If you want to take any piece of information from the form that you collected, you can use this little short code anywhere you want inside of this email, but where it says field ID name, this corresponds with the field ID inside of the form. Here I am back in the form. I can expand where it says form fields. Here's my fields. I can expand one of my fields. And when you click on advanced right here, it says ID. So this is the ID name. And you can see it also has the short code for that. So if I wanted to say their email address back to them, I could do the same thing. But instead of name, I would get the email, the ID for the email address field. So let me expand that, click on advance, and then here is the little short code I can do to show the email address back for the person. So as you add custom fields to this, this is how you can further customize the email that you send out. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm not gonna use it in this email, so I'm gonna highlight everything here. I'm gonna copy that into my clipboard, and I'll go back to my form, and so I need to go right here where it says email, and it's right here where it says message. Instead of all fields, I don't wanna send them an email with all the fields. I want to go ahead and send them this email right here, which is all the info that I just put together, the entire email that I want them to receive. Now I do need to go and grab that email token because I don't wanna send it to myself, I wanna send it to them. So I'll scroll up, click on form fields, click on email, click on advanced, and here it is, that short code. So let me copy that and scroll back down into my email. So I'm gonna send it to them, that email address right there. And for the subject, put whatever you want right there, like here is your download. All right, and then right here, make sure you put your from information. And then right here, make sure you put your from name or what they'd recognize, you or your brand. I like to do it this way, put my first name and then the name of my website, but it's not a properly formatted email because that's right here. And then scroll down right here, it should say send as HTML. We want that to say send as HTML and then click on update and you have added a downloadable link inside of that email. Now all you need to do is test the form to make sure you actually receive the email and it looks properly formatted and you can make any kind of tweaks that you might want to make. If you have any issues sending outbound email from your WordPress site, I do have a video on that that I'll link to down below. And now I just wanna ask you if you can hit the thumbs up, it helps me here on YouTube. And if you have any questions questions about this or something you'd want to learn, little quick tips like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe, click on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.